Hey there, football fans. Welcome to the show that brings you all things football. This is Football Extreme. My name is Kwabena, and today's edition of Kicking It With Quabs has got a little bit of something different to it. And before I kick on, I'd like to welcome everybody all around the world to Kicking It With Quabs. If you're new to the show, click that subscribe button. We'd like to hear your comments in the comment section, like our videos so that you also do not miss all the latest from Football Extreme. Now, on this edition of Kicking It With Quabs, I'm going to bring you three things we learned from international football this week. Now, number one, Barcelona are not completely over just yet. Now, if you haven't heard the, new, the news yet, Barcelona beat Real Madrid in the El Clasico on Sunday night. They beat them in Real Madrid's home stadium, the Bernabeu, four goals to nil. Now, if you have been watching international football lately, you'll know that over the past year and a half or so, Barcelona has been slowly just going on a downward spiral. And even in La Liga, before this game, they were, pro they were sitting in about fifth spot, just dreaming that they might just make it into the Champions League next season. Real Madrid are flying high at the top of La Liga, flying high in the Champions League, having just beaten PSG. But now, Barcelona came in and pulled off a huge upset in the biggest game in the Spanish league by beating Real Madrid in their own house, four goals to nil. Now, some people might have also said that when Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang left Arsenal, that he was probably done with football and even just being a big name. But he found his way to Barcelona and somehow this team now over the last couple of weeks is back on the mend, is raising their stakes a bit and they're trying to prove to the world that we are not over yet. We are making a comeback in international football. We are going to be a force to be reckoned with. So to people like me who had probably written them off and said, I hope they don't make Champions League because I'm not a Barcelona fan at all. I am a Galacticos. I love the all whites of Madrid. And so that defeat on Sunday was real painful. But to everyone else in the football world, Barcelona is on the way back. Keep your eye on them. They might just break into the top four in, in the Spanish league. They might even just break into the top three or two. Who knows? They're on their way back. They're winning games. They're scoring goals. Aubameyang seems to have found his form again. So Spanish football, watch out. Barcelona's back. Real Madrid win La Liga quickly before Barcelona does something crazy. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Number two in things that we learned in international football this week. Liverpool and Man City are coming for everything. Absolutely everything. Now, Liverpool has already won the League Cup this season. So that's one of four trophies available to them. But both Man City and Liverpool are still in the running for the Premier League title, separated by just one point to the end of the season. They are also both still in the FA Cup. And guess what? They're going to be meeting in the semi-finals. Man City, Liverpool, semi-finals of the FA Cup. Who's going to win? Who's your money on? I am betting my money. I'll bet your money happily. So, and then the big one. They are both still in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, in the business end of the Champions League, where the Giants are still there. And it's quite possible that we could find a Manchester City versus Liverpool final in the UEFA Champions League. Who knows? Both teams are still going for every trophy available. Liverpool's taken the first one in England, being the League Cup. So Liverpool's still trying to get the quadruple. Is it possible? Is it likely? You guys tell me what you guys think. I'm a Liverpool fan myself. I'm not so sure quadruple is likely. I'd say pick one of the three that you're still in and just put all your weight and all your eggs in that basket. Man City are going for the treble. They're still in the Champions League, still in the FA Cup, still in first place in the Premier League. These are the two heavyweights of the English game right now. It is going to be exciting stuff to watch. Don't miss it. Especially when the FA Cup game and the Premier League game 
are going to be within a week or two of each other. You do not want to miss this. The two current giants of England, in Manchester City and Liverpool, are coming for everything. Now, number three of things that we've learned in international football. The UEFA Champions League has entered the business end of the tournament. Now, the three teams in England that are left, the three teams in Spain, one in Germany, one in Portugal, are left vying for the ultimate club prize in European football. Liverpool are going to take on Benfica. Real Madrid are taking on Chelsea. Bayern Munich are taking on Villarreal. And Manchester City will take on Atletico Madrid. And as already previously mentioned, in terms of the brackets, Manchester City and Liverpool could still be a viable option for a final. You could still get a semi-final where it's all English teams. If Liverpool wins their game and Chelsea wins their game, they could meet in the semi-final. But Champions League has entered the business end. The heavyweights who, who were pre-tournament favourites are all still there. That being Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Man City. Those were the teams. And don't forget, Chelsea are the defending champions. So put aside all those things that are happening in the background with Roman Abramovich. Chelsea are still in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. They are still the defending champions. Write them off at your peril. They are facing a Real Madrid team that is currently flying high. But as I already said, they've just gotten beaten 4-0 by Barcelona. So who knows what may happen in the next round of the Champions League. And Liverpool and Man City are distracted by the things that are happening domestically in England, by their title fight. Real Madrid are flying high in El Clasico in, in, in La Liga. So they might just have all their concentration on the Champions League. Who knows? Bayern Munich are also flying high in the German League. So they might also just be thinking, hey, let me just put all my eggs in the Champions League basket for now. Even though it might seem that the other teams are catching up to Bayern Munich, trust me, we've watched German League enough to know that once Bayern Munich are in first place, they are never letting it go. They're probably setting all their sights on the Champions League. Or could we even have a surprise in Benfica knocking out Liverpool or Atletico Madrid knocking out Manchester City or even Villarreal knocking out Bayern Munich? Now those are potential shockers. And what do we know about football? A shock is always waiting to happen. So football fans, those are the three things we learned in international football this week. Stay tuned to Kicking It With Quabs. Stay tuned to Football Extreme. We're going to bring you more content. We've got the Nene Show coming up soon. We've got Bong's Football Podcast coming up. Don't forget to subscribe, like our content, comment on our videos. We want to know what you're thinking. Tell me who you think is going to win the Champions League. Tell me who you think is going to win the Premier League. Who's going to win La Liga? Who's going to win any of these other trophies that we may not have spoken about? So that has been it with, from Kicking It With Quabs. We'll catch you in the next time and stay tuned for more Football Extreme.